technology is taking over, and not just with tweens and teens. 56% of American parents are concerned that their kids are addicted to devices today. But ironically, the average parent in this country spends nine hours a day with media and technology themselves. Three quarters of American teenagers have or have access to smartphones, and half of them report being addicted. An epidemic some experts say is breaking down communication in families and raising a generation so fully vested in technology that they are unable to imagine a world without it. Raise your hand if you agree with that statement. Janet Elias teaches sixth okay. and seventh graders at New York City's Wagner Middle okay. School, where she requires students and their families to engage in device-free dinners, a movement launched by Common Sense Media that asks families to set aside time every day to connect rather than tech during mealtime. How is school? I learned the monkey bars. That's great. Music is so important. Parents and the children should be sitting at the dinner table having conversation. Research shows that family dinners make kids happier and healthier, leading to better academic performance, fewer behavioral problems, and a lower risk of substance abuse. The device-free dinner helped me a lot because we got to know our family more. It was amazing. The experience was great. I got to talk with my family. I got to hear the funny things that happened in our days. 11-year-old Ellis Whiteson says his older brother and parents have made device-free dinners a reoccurring theme and now has a greater appreciation for their time together. It's really a message to all of us, to parents and to kids, to put the device down and focus on your family. A lesson that a little separation can go a long way.